So you're thinking about a move to Texas, maybe even specifically the Dallas-Fort Worth area? Should you rent or should you buy immediately when you arrive? We'll get into it. Hey folks, Todd Tremonti here. And if you are thinking about a move to the Texas area of the country, pretty big area, uh, I'm gonna address kind of some statewide generalities that apply to pretty much everybody. And then we'll get into some specifics at the Dallas-Fort Worth area, or maybe some potential specifics that could apply to different folks. So generally speaking, almost regardless of where you move anywhere, but especially in Texas, this would apply in almost any community in Texas, you're going to have lots of options. So it's at least worthy of considering renting. Now, listen, I'm a real estate broker. I run a couple of real estate companies. And obviously we get paid when people buy and sell, but that's not always the best thing for you to do. If you are truly unfamiliar with a community and don't have the ability or, or the time or finances to travel to that city a few times and get the lay of the land, or you're not already really confident where you need to be based on commutes or other, other items, then renting can be a really smart choice, especially if you can get a short-term rental. Now, it's still going to require moving twice if you move and rent for a little while and then move out of your rental and purchase something. But that's a lot better than making a mistake when you, if you buy the wrong property or, or a great property in the wrong part of town and then regret it and your house becomes a burden or your townhome or whatever becomes a burden. We don't want you to go through that. So renting is a legitimate option, especially if you can get uh, a short-term scenario. Now, that doesn't mean that it would ever be wrong or a bad idea to buy right away. I would just say buying right away is a great option as long as you've had the ability to do some research, to get to know the area. Now, a great real estate agent can help you really condense the time and energy involved in fully understanding an option. So let's say you were moving to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. If you had nothing more specific than I'm moving to Dallas-Fort Worth, you've got thousands of options. I mean, there's literally probably a hundred plus specific known communities you could choose from, much less multiple counties and school districts and all these kinds of things. So if you're, if you're thinking DFW wide, you're gonna need some time. I mean, a month or more probably to really kind of get to know some other areas. Um, if you know that DFW is on radar, but you're really specifically thinking Dallas because of where a job would be or Fort Worth, and you're thinking probably West versus East, that may be something that with a really great real estate agent, you could probably hone in on a neighborhood or an area within a, within a weekend or so, a couple of emails, maybe a video or two, and uh, getting in the car and driving around town for a day or two. So depending on where you are on that spectrum, your level of confidence and certainty and clarity around where you want and need to be can dictate whether it's smarter to rent or to buy right away. Now, long term, it absolutely is my recommendation to buy as long as you and your family and your finances can, can be prepared for that. Most real estate professionals will tell you that renting is a terrible idea because you're paying someone else's equity and not your own. I agree, but there's always exceptions. And that exception might be your sanity and your preparation to buy and be in a really healthy, happy, long-term situation. So I, I wouldn't risk that by just gambling and buying a home in a community that I didn't know enough about. So if you feel like that's a mistake you might be making, number one, make sure you're working with a really great full-time dedicated expert real estate agent with a great track record. And number two, take your time a little bit. So those are some general thoughts. Now, specifically speaking about the Dallas-Fort Worth area, I might lean a little bit more towards buying in more scenarios than renting. And here's the specific reason. Home values have been going up, are going up, and are highly likely to continue going up for the foreseeable future. So every single day that you're renting right now in Dallas-Fort Worth, you're waiting to spend more on a home purchase. Now, I wouldn't let that manipulate or pressure someone into buying when they're not ready. But if you are ready to buy, I would go ahead and just spend the time to research and be more confident in where I'm buying, but probably go ahead and buy uh, as long as you plan on being here for two or more years. That's probably a topic for another video. How long should you stay in the home if you buy one? We can make a note and do that video. We've probably done a version of that over the last seven or eight years anyway. So feel free to check the channel out. But in DFW, Dallas and or Fort Worth, pretty much all areas, 
I would be careful of renting when my goal was really buying because you're simply waiting for the buying environment to get worse, meaning prices to go up, potentially for mortgage interest rates to go up, and who knows what else could change. Now, someone could certainly say, Todd, if I wait long enough, don't you think prices will go down? And I would answer you very simply with one word, no. I don't think prices are going down anytime soon. During our last real estate sort of downturn, our market barely turned down at all. Most areas in our market really just sort of went flat, which means if you waited, all you really got was either the same or maybe in that scenario, a slightly lower interest rate, uh, but you got at least you know kind of a flat, if not still, increased property price. In the current environment, I think you're gonna definitely get increased property price. There's a high likelihood of higher interest rates and potentially even more competition for that house. So if you need to rent, rent, that's fine. But if you're moving to the Dallas-Fort Worth area anytime soon, I would be somewhat reluctant to rent. Uh, if you've got to, and that's a smart choice for you, do that and do it proudly and don't let anybody pressure you otherwise. But if you don't have to, I would spend an extra week or two or day or two or conversation or two or three to get prepared and go ahead and buy so you don't delay buying for six months or a year or two and end up just with a significantly less healthy wealth building home and you know investment type scenario. So if any of that was unclear or if we can help you make that purchase or sale in any way, certainly reach out to us. Our information's below. You can drop a comment below. We read every single comment. As long as it's not inappropriate, we'll respond to you there and be happy to help in whatever way we can. If you've already got a trusted real estate advisor with a great track record of world-class results, then great, stick with them. But if not, of course, we'd love to earn your business. So like this video if it's been helpful, share it with somebody that it might be a contribution for, and then of course, subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and that'll let you know every time we make a new video for you. There's hundreds of other videos on this channel about relocating, to Dallas, Fort Worth, or the state of Texas as a whole. Some do's, some don'ts, some great areas, some things people like and don't like about areas, and of course, helpful tips on buying, selling, and investing as well. So I will see you on the next one. Take care.